Okay, we have the my Aerodactyl two stage. I have a F Estus F fifteen zero in the booster, F fifteen six in the sustainer. Got the camera and the altimeter on. Here we go. Aerodactyl TS in five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. And gonna shoot a little bit after Apogee, but hopefully no uh, zipper. Booster landed right here, right by the launch pad. I better watch my parachute up here. When I flew this yesterday, I got a cracked fin on the booster. Just super glued that. And a little zipper on the green body section of that. A little super glue on that, it was great. Perfect. Perfect. No damage. No parachute damage. No zippers. Perfect flight. Oops. Perfect flight. Pick up here. Let me see what the altitude is. Okay. We got 1,612 feet. 115 miles an hour. That's about what it went yesterday is 115. Okay, I'm going to fly the Aerodactyl single stage. I have an Aerotech F67 engine in here. It has a nine second delay. Uh, I ran it in Roxim. 8.17 second delay or something like that is what it says. So um, hopefully this will be good. Okay, let's launch this. Hopefully I don't lawn dart this. That would be sad. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Wow, that went. Ah, uh, come on. Don't, oh yes, got a parachute. It's a long delay, but it came out. Hopefully no zipper. I'll go get it. That did great. Let's see, no, no zippers. Yay, no broken fins. All right. Turn that camera off. Then. Okay, let's see. Parachute is good. No damage to this part. Cool. Yeah, I didn't push the nose cone on all the way, but that's okay. Let me look at the altimeter. 1,173, oh dang, 1,173 feet. Okay, now we have the boosted Bertha. No paint job. But this is on a C60 for the booster. And I think I put a C67 in the sustainer. We'll check afterwards, but I think that's what it is. So we'll get this one launched. Okay, here goes Boosted Bertha in five, four, three, two, one.
That was pretty good. Uh, maybe not. It's coming down pretty fast. Spinning around. Wonder what happened. Those cone came out, parachute didn't come out. Ouch. Booster came down right here, real close. Yeah, I packed it up a little bit too tight. It was, uh, I wrapped it up good with some recovery wadding. It didn't come out. It's, oh well. I think the shot cord was in there too tight. But, no damage. Yeah, a little ding. That's nothing. All good. We learn from our mistakes. Okay. <clears throat> Two stage sugar engine. Attempted once and failed. I'm hoping it goes good this time. Let's see. Hang on just a second. Okay. Launching this in five, four, three, two, one. Yes, that went really good. Booster landed right next to me. Uh oh, it's coming down hard. Oh, uh, ballistic. No. Bummer. There's a camera. No ejection, huh? Huh. Hmm. I figured I shouldn't have put the camera on there. Let's see if it survived even. I doubt it. It's even here. I don't even see it. Nose cone didn't even come out. Crud. I don't know why. Oh, look for the camera. I mean, I shouldn't have put it on there. Well, second attempt, second failure. We'll see why here. Well, here's the camera. Not very far away, a few feet away. It looks intact. I'll have to check it out. Hey, camera should be on. Well, I got some booster damage too. The fin broke. The engine didn't drop out all the way. That's the engine. My engine. My homemade engine. Um, but that's alright. That's just to glue the fin on and maybe fix that coupling. I'll have to see. And that's all. Trying to get those engines to drop out so they don't hit the ground so hard. Aside from the lawn dart, I say this was a successful uh, test of this because I got the sustainer engine to ignite. Uh, 
this was an engine I had made for something else. It didn't have a delay on it. I put a delay in it and an ejection charge. So it wasn't made exactly how I usually make them. So I'm going to make it over, make it good, and uh, make it so it'll eject the parachute. And I'll have some good two-stage engines here, uh, homemade sugar engines. That will be cool. Then I'll put an altimeter on it. <laughs> I would have ruined the altimeter this time. But that's that one.